Hello everyone. We're continuing with this game. It's a game. <coughs> Excuse me. Called V Rally 4 for the Switch. I've stopped, I've stopped drinking tea, and now I'm drinking, um, raspberry lime seltzer, which is very yummy. Um, yeah, I mean, seltzer is just water with bubbles and then some flavoring, um, <coughs> seems pretty good for you. Um, probably the one thing that's not good for you about it is the bubbles. They're not great for your teeth. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me, it's been a long recording session. Although I did have a break for a meal. But anyway, um... So, seltzer isn't good for your teeth. What was I going to say about it, though? Um, apparently the... I want to say the Romans... Um, liked seltzer because it was very thirst-quenching. So, now you've learned something. So, seltzer's good. It has a very bitter aftertaste. You know, it's it's not something, you know, it's an acquired taste, so it's not something you would enjoy the first time, probably. But seltzer's very, very good. Very yummy. Um, I don't drink soda in general. I don't, I actually eat pretty healthy in general, actually. Um, but I don't drink soda. I drink tea. I drink seltzer, I drink water, and then a few times a month I'll make myself Crystal Light. Um, the two best versions of Crystal Light, if you decide you want to get into Crystal Light, I recommend Fruit Punch and I recommend Grape. Conquered Grape. Because uh, fruit punch tastes like like Hawaiian punch or something, <clears throat> and Concord grape tastes like you know like grape drink. Um, but the advantages of them is they um, they don't have any calories. Crystal Light is calorie free, so. I won't drink more than about four or five, uh, four or five packages of it. I'm playing really well all of a sudden. There, there, there won't be more than four or five, you know, packages of powder a month, um, for a couple reasons. There's a lot of food coloring in in uh, Crystal Light, like a lot, and Crystal Light, you know, has fake sugar, which isn't terrible for you, as far as I can tell. It will potentially lower your metabolism if you have enough of it. Fake sugar I'm talking about, I believe. I believe that's the only side effect. But, uh, they put a lot of, they definitely put a lot of food coloring in it. The, uh, like, blue, I believe, has been known to cause cancer. So you probably want to stay away from blue. And, <coughs> crystal-like conquered grape. I mean, I'm being a hypocrite, but 
Crystal Light Conquer Grave obviously has blue because blue and red are purple. Um, you know, they don't have purple food coloring, they have blue food coloring, they have red food coloring. As far as I know. But, so yeah. And, and the reason I recommend these two, Fruit Punch and Conquer Grape, is that they... You can't really tell that there's fake sugar in it. Like, you can tell a little bit with the aftertaste. But in general... Um... Because, like, fake sugar has an aftertaste to it. Uh, whatever it's called. The, 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 the one that's most popular. And these two crystal lights have very little aftertaste because the aftertaste of the grape and the aftertaste of the fruit punch are both so gummy and fruity that it kind of cancels out the fake sugar. So we're going to upgrade this thing. I'm having a lot of fun doing these, these hill climbs. So we're going to continue doing hill climbs. <coughs> Sorry, I keep clearing my throat. Let me try some more seltzer. Yeah, try those two flavors. Those two flavors are delicious. And zero calories, so, you know, food coloring is probably not good for your teeth, but, you know, there's some, some pros and some cons. One thing I was thinking of doing, which is, I feel like genius, I want to get a blender and some more ice cube trays, and then I will... <coughs> make the crystal light, maybe make it a little bit stronger to make up for the ice, and then I'll take a blender to the ice, and then I'll add the crystal light to it. So it'll be like a zero calorie, you know, fruity ice drink. So that was the thought. I want to get, that's what I want. I want crystal light, ice, That sounds like a, a great time to me. That is the plan. So, I'm going to try, I think, I know this isn't one of the cars that we've been messing with, but I want to do another, no, that doesn't make sense, because then I have to do like five races here. Took me a second. Like five, six, five races. And that's gonna take far too long. So we'll do more hill climb. I want to unlock more with this. This. Um, with this Paris. So yeah, we have a Paris, a Volkswagen, and a and a 911. I know I keep mentioning it every last play, but I want you guys to, you know, I want it to be our car, you know. So I've been trying to work on the same cars, and then we have, you know, development of the cars together. feel like that makes sense. That was a statement, not a question. I'm going to need to kill the audio because without the air conditioner on, even at one 
it's too loud. Uh, the the speakers on my TV are quite booming. It just sounded like my dad right now. But yeah, they're loud speakers. They're they're huge. They got the speakers themselves have to be at least the size of like tennis balls or not tennis balls, ping pong balls. <laughs> like the, the the housing that holds the the speakers look the size of like baseballs or something like that. So I mean They are I'm gonna restart. They are loud. They are bassy too. Yeah, I got this TV on I probably told you. I got this TV on Black Friday. 4K, smart TV, big speakers. It has a game mode. Mm, digital optical audio and what else I think of other features it's a Toshiba so I mean oh and it's you know 48 and a half inches so for 200 bucks I could sell this TV for way more than 200 if I if I was trying, I'm sure. <clears throat> it's very nice. Very nice TV for what it is. I was using a I had paid $45 for a um I want to say a 50-inch like projector projector projection like, I don't know if you'd call it a CRT, but it is a projection TV. Um, the speakers were way too loud, but, you know, that's what I had. I had, I had a 50-inch 50, 50 projection, projection TV. Um, it did do 1080i, so, I mean, it was technically HD. But it wasn't, it wasn't ideal. I still have it, but I am much happier with this thing. This thing's great, and the game mode too has such a has such a real effect. You don't you don't appreciate game mode until it's gone. Ooh, that was a sweet turn. I'm like sick at this game. Like, I don't know if you guys are watching, but like, or you're just listening to me, but if you watch the gameplay footage, I'm doing like really well. Everything's like flashy and like almost perfect. I think the, the mixture of this car and its understeer mixed with the Pro Controller, which, you know, has a lot of travel, and it's more travel than I'm used to with the Joy-Cons, so it's leading to me kind of canceling each other out, I feel like, and I'm also just good at hill climbs, so I'm having no trouble talking and playing at the same time. I seem to be getting pretty good at that. Which is difficult at first. I had a lot of trouble at first talking and playing. I mean, I'm sure I'd be playing better if I wasn't talking. I I can almost guarantee that, but I'm I'm getting pretty good at it.
trying to think what my favorite cars are. I like... I guess I like specific... Specific, uh... Specific stuff. I like... Um, the new Volvo XC90. Since they got bought out... Or bought... By China. And I like the white version the most. The black one looks cool. But the white one... The white one's really smart. So I like the XC90. The new one. Specifically. Because I like the way it looks. And I like... The Ford GT40. Not F40. Or something like that. The GT40. Which is... Uh, a very famous car. It's like uh, I'm trying to describe how, how it looks. Kind of like big and beautiful, I guess. <laughs> you know, that was an awesome turn. That's a wall. What else do I really, really like? Hmm. Like, if I could have any other car other than those two cars, what would I go for? I guess I like Volvos. I know that's a weird thing to say, Volvo. But... Um, just my time with with the Volvos I've been inside have all been pleasant. I felt safe, which is really important to me, and comfortable. If I could afford it, I'd buy a new Volvo, and I would buy. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind paying the maintenance just because they're they're like a luxury car, right? But they're but they're they're special because they're safer. So maybe some, maybe like one of the older Volvos, something like that, before Ford. Um. Before Ford. Uh, bought them. I mean, obviously later, they're not owned by Ford anymore. But I guess. I guess that's what I'd go for. That's really something I picked up from my brother, too. He he really likes Volvos. I think I like Volvos more than he likes Volvos, but um, yeah, I like I like them a lot. I think they're really neat cars. They're not necessarily the most beautiful, or the most valuable, or the cheapest to maintain, or the fastest. Um, but I. I like their style. Let's see if I can upgrade that Paris anymore. Nope, but soon. Let's do another. This is a lot of fun. Three stars, three stars, two stars. Two stars it is. Yeah, I'm, ha I'm having a lot of fun playing this right now. Between this car and hill climb, it's uh, a wicked good time. I don't think, uh, hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking about something behind the scenes of my channel I can't actually say. So, I guess you'll never know. My Mario Maker levels I made for the channel for the show. I've made 15 Mario Maker levels. Most of them 
are good. One of them is just too hard. But it's also a fun level in its own way. But it's really for more uh, expert players. But anyway, I've made 15 levels now. Each video made it three videos. Each video contains five, five levels. But I suggest you check them out. They're really cool. There is, um, I'm trying to think of like, I don't want to ruin any surprises. I guess there's not much I can say. I've made a lot of really cool themed levels. I've gotten better. I've started using sound effects eventually. I made a bunch of levels of, you know, I made a bunch of levels that are um, connected. So like there's level one, there's level one through seven. So there's, you know, if you want to play level one through seven, you can you can do you can do it like that, and then it feels like its own its own little world, you know, its own little miniature thing. The idea behind the levels are that I can tell you that part. The only way to complete the level is to get the top of the flagpole. And if you don't get the top of the flagpole and get the one up, you you die. So it's kind of like a a little bit of um a little bit a bit of an extra an extra goal kind of an extra thing. So those are neat. It it just happened to work out the way the game's set up that if you if you get if you get it's either the one up or you die. Like the game were ended up working out like that for me. So that's fun. And then there's what was the other, what was the other thing I was thinking of I wanted to tell you about? I told you that, that there's a couple ice levels. Hmm. What could it be? Most of them are fairly difficult. I wanted to give people a, you know, a decent challenge. So that's fun. I like the thumbnails. The thumbnails for the videos are all really cool. All three of the videos. Hmm. I don't remember the other thing I was going to say. So I guess that's going to be it. Check them out. Those are, those are cool videos. I noticed that most of my viewers that watch my Let's Plays don't end up watching my other videos. So I would encourage all of you to give them a chance. I, I know that you subscribe to my channel to see Let's Plays, but I do other stuff. for some reason which is funny because my let's plays are great but my other videos are are better um, it's what makes my channel so special is because I have so many cool uh, videos like that and I feel like my channel is like one of the best ones just because of how unique how unique and special those video, other videos are. So, you know, I recommend you check them out. Give them a chance. Yeah, but I won't be upset if you don't watch them. My Let's Plays are really good, too. I don't I don't know what the what the magic is with my let's plays. I think it's just that we talk about what's going on in my life and other things centered around me and I think that I think that's part of the part of the fun. You know, I have a lot to say. I'm a very 
complicated person, and uh, I think that's what I think that's what it is. I think that's why, you know, it's about the personality who do with the let's play. It's it almost doesn't matter what you're playing. <laughs> and then I try to play different games, so it's not like you're not gonna you're not gonna click on my channel and then see that. Oh well. Now he's doing Mario Maker Let's Plays. And it's like, well, I've seen plenty of Mario Maker Let's Plays. And you might love Mario Maker, and this might be a terrible example. Or Legend of Zelda, like, oh, Legend of Zelda Let's Play. Well, I want to play that myself, so maybe I won't watch the Let's Play. And then you'll just completely skip it. But if I play something, if I play something unique, you know, something you've never heard of you may be more inclined to to watch the video and it might be more interesting you know I want to do it differently I want my channel to be different and then that, that includes the let's plays so that's like why I never play you know this is a Mario channel but I don't play Mario games on the Let's Play because that's exactly what you'd expect of me, right? Mm -hmm. I have to end this, this one here. I'm sorry to... You know what? We'll finish the level. I can sit here for another three, three and a half minutes so that you guys can see the rest of the race. I'm very tempted to quit because I have a bunch more to re record and I'm already... I should have stopped recording at the end of the last race. But, you know, I don't... I guess I don't mind. So, um, I don't know if I told you about this, but I have an ionizer fan. Um, what it does is it, you turn it on, you press the button for I, for the ionizer, and then it's a fan. It's like a, maybe it's like four feet tall, maybe three. And, uh, what it does is, it has metal bars in it, which it charges, um, with, like, a positive or negative charge, and then it, oh no, and then it charges the air around it with a positive or negative charge, so, and it's the opposite, right, so opposites attract with magnets, right? So it positively charges one and negatively charges the other. And what happens is as air passes through the fan, particles in the air get charged and then they attract to the metal. So it takes particles out of the air. Um, one annoyance is that you have to turn it on. Every time you turn it on, you have to press the ionizer button. Um, or else it won't it won't activate the ionizer and it's very easy to forget but because I have this fan my house always has very very fresh air like there's never dust in the air it's always like easy to breathe even even on like hot days when, uh, when you'd think there'd be a lot of dust it does a really good job of that so they're like uh, not only does it clean the air but it also it also um, cools the air off 
so during the summer my air conditioner doesn't have to work nearly as hard because it also cleans the air so I, I don't just recommend it for uh, your house to, to cool and to clean the air I also recommend it like if you have an attic like an attic but it's also like a room that people spend time in you should get one of these ionizer fans because it does a great job of both cooling off the air and getting rid of that garbage so you know maybe you don't want to put an air conditioner up there but this fan would do wonders for you and you know you don't want to breathe all that garbage right you want to it's probably better for you to not have this have all that all, all that garbage well we're getting close to finishing upgrading this Paris which would be very satisfying anyway I have to quit this this video right now it's um probably 30 minutes at this point so I need to move on and record the next one but I hope you enjoyed it next time maybe we'll maybe we'll try to finish this this car this Paris I think we could finish it I really do Anyway, I'll see you real soon.